In here. Is this your house? My house? I've never really thought about it like that, but I suppose so. Boy, you're really in the sticks. What do you do for fun out here? My mission is not to entertain myself. I do spend time reading books written by humans, if you must know. Sounds... fun. Let's perform the ceremony. So, is this... okay? Perfect. Thank you. Lady Mila, I was worried sick. This looks like the rite of the Four's advent. Why would you perform such a ritual? Wait, what's going on here? Efreet, where are you? Undine, come out! Lady Mila, what has happened? I cannot believe it. So, why do you think you can't summon the spirits? Are they dead or something? Idiot! A great spirit cannot die! Was I supposed to know that? Just like a lesser spirit, a great spirit becomes a fossil when it passes away. Yet, its power transfers into the next great spirit. At least, that's what they say. Nobody's ever seen it happen. Oh, so I've heard. <laughs> That's blasphemy. Spirits are undying beings that dwell in the spirit world. It's beyond your understanding. Hmm. Well, maybe that device captured the four great spirits instead of killing them. Impossible! Mere humans could never capture the great four. But... The four great spirits aren't answering their lord's summons. If you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. If you leave an egg in a box, then somehow that egg should get crushed. The cause must lie within the egg itself. Good old Howe's egg principle. You really are an honor student. <laughs> Aspyrix advanced enough to capture even the four. When that happened, I then lost my power as Maxwell. Mila?
Now you will all leave. This is holy ground, and you'll desecrate it no more. I'm the only one ordained to serve Lady Mila. Ivor, please leave as well. You can go home. Huh? Let me see. How should I put this? You're annoying. Oh! Oh. Lady Mila wouldn't be in this predicament if it wasn't for you blasphemous fools! For the love of Maxwell, I knew I should have never left her side! Well, Mila wasn't kidding about his short fuse. Hey! Are you even listening to me? Uh, yeah. I mean... huh? <laughs> Heed my words! Henceforth, only I shall serve the Lady Mila! Interfere at your peril! You gonna stick around? Yeah. Okay. I'll be back at the village. I have to figure out what I can do. Oh. What's wrong? I thought you were gonna rest. I would say the same to you. You didn't go back to the village? No. Well then, let's go set you up with the villagers. What's wrong? Worried you won't fit in? No, that's not it. So, what are you gonna do now? Will you return to Fenmont to destroy the Lance of Kresnik? Yes. When you consider that the Lance drained mana from the Four, along with the other people there, we can assume the mana serves as some kind of fuel. The lance must gather mana before it can be used as a weapon. I doubt it will be ready immediately. I suspect their mana gathering activities will continue. Are you planning to go alone? Stop beating around the bush. If you want to tell me something, just say it. I want to know how come you're so brave? You've taken an interest in me, haven't you? <sighs> Bravery. That's not really it. I have a task to perform. And I do whatever it takes to complete the task. It's that simple. But you're only human now. Isn't this mission too big for just one person? I mean, you could die. That changes nothing. The task must be completed. You really are brave. Any other questions? Then let's go back. Hey! Yes? Can I come too? With you? Your whole life was turned upside down because you got involved with me. You don't regret it? Well, sure, a little bit. But it's too late to cry about it now. It's not like I can turn back time. Now that I'm neck deep in this, I want to help you if I can. You really are a do-gooder, aren't you? Y you think so? I didn't stay behind in the shrine to rest. I was hoping to sneak off without dragging you into things again. Really? Yes. Consideration for others was something I learned on our little journey together. It's not as easy as I thought. Anyway, let's head to the village. Now that you found me, I suppose I'm in no rush to leave anymore. Okay. Wasn't Alvin